Okay, we are. It's starting to take shape. Yo. There's the basin. I can't believe this is happening. So it's really important to me that making sure that you're above board with everything. Hi, good morning. Excuse my hair, excuse the background. I'm in our bedroom and the last time I spoke to you, we had just moved and we are still kind of within the chaos of moving. As you can see, there's things everywhere. <clears throat> Today is quite an exciting day because I am just about to leave to go and pick up the keys and sign the contract for my new salon studio space. <laughs> I can't, I just, I can't believe it's happening. I mentioned in the last vlog that that was a goal for this year and I really didn't expect it to happen this quickly. It's happening today. And that's why I have been quiet everywhere online. It's actually been a bit of a wait since I found the space. So it's been quite quiet just generally. And I've just been focusing on that, having to order all the furniture and sort everything out, open up all my supplier accounts, sort out the funding, um, which I will speak about because I know that will probably be the number one question for a lot of you because whenever I see someone opening a business or renting a space for a business, that's always what I think. How are you funding this? I saw the space, well, it's the 10th of February today and I paid a holding deposit for the month on the 10th of January. So I saw the space right at the beginning of January and it was being still renovated, which is why I've had to wait a month to get into it, which has actually worked out very well because lead times with furniture and all that kind of stuff um, can take, I mean, more than a month as I found out, but luckily everything's kind of synced up and everything has arrived this week, including my hairdressing chair, which has arrived this morning to the space, which I didn't think was gonna happen so early. I spoke to them yesterday and it was ready for delivery and I thought it would come tomorrow. Anyway. I feel like I can't really art articulate my thoughts at the moment, but I'm just getting this vlog off to a start and let you know that's what's happening. So I'm probably, I've washed my hair, but I haven't styled it. And to be honest, I am i don't really have time to style it because I need to go. Let's get ready and go and get the keys. Ooh! Thank you so much. Enjoy. Thank you. Bye bye. I'm not supposed to be buying coffee because I have inherited a coffee machine from my mum, which is very exciting when we moved. I've even got a coffee subscription, all to prevent this. But there's a really cute coffee shop, really close, like literally opposite where we live. So I just thought as it's a big day, I'm gonna support the local business because I am now also a local business. So and what's it called, paying it forward? You're welcome. Where's my chair? <laughs> Here we are. I think I might just get my chair out now. If I put a pillow, there, is that gonna be? <laughs> this can be the thumbnail. Um, okay, let's do this. Right, maybe I should make myself comfortable. It's cute, so who cares? A bit more, you can kind of see. We've got some windows there. That was a door that went through to another office space that obviously they've blocked off. When they hadn't blocked it off, I had thought actually, this was a much more narrow space. It's kind of like, this is all very white, as wide as that and more narrow. And I had had aspirations to rent that space as well at some point, but Obviously that's not gonna happen because they've brought the door off, so there we go. I feel like even though it's an office space, it's got a little bit of character, which I don't feel like is coming through right now, but this is like exposed brick just here. And that's obviously a staircase, but it gives it kind of a cute little, I just feel like it's a bit nicer than just your average office space. And so now, because they've blocked this door off, I've got a whole new option for where I put things because I was originally, going to put the mirror up against here and the chair in front obviously there's a radiator there so that wouldn't have been great anyway but now they've brought that door off i'm thinking i'll put the mirror here it's perfect because it's near plug sockets and the chair can go here and then this was always going to be where the color bar was going to go underneath here i've got a sideboard that i need to build to go there and then i had thought about possibly putting some shelves here as well to put color on 
that's the water connection so the basin will go in that corner so i'm thinking i already regret getting that round base because they had the option to have it with like um what do you call it spokes and after i ordered it i thought oh i wish i'd got that as the base and now that it's here and I'm looking at it, I really wish I had got that as the base. But I mean, it's just, a, it's a tiny design detail that no one else will probably notice except me. Okay. Angel. <laughs> okay, so I'm back. I feel a bit frazzled, like I've got a lot to think about now. Like a lot to sort out, namely moving everything in. And I need to get someone to connect the basin for me. I know, my is going. And that's the biggest thing. Once the basin's connected, it's then just basically however long I take to move all my stuff in and get 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 everything sorted. I said I had a coffee subscription, and actually it's just arrived today. And so we are that family now that has a lot of family paraphernalia on the fridge. We do still have a Christmas card that Gabe made for us at nursery. How cute is that? That's his foot in a shape of a snowman and I will never take that down ever. I also do still have the Christmas wreath up on the front door because it's basically become my winter wreath. This is my coffee subscription. Can you see it? it you can probably see the pink tin. It's grind. This is not an ad whatsoever. I inherited mum's coffee machine, which is just there, which I'd wanted for ages. Grind actually served me an ad on Instagram and it was to trial it for five pounds and it's usually 13 pounds 50 and you also got the tin to put them in and it's come right on time because i've got three oh coffee pods left um so it's now 13.50 a month which for someone that used to spend about three pounds something a day on a coffee you get three boxes and what is, how many are in these? Ten. I think there's ten in these. Ten organic compostable Nespresso coffee pads. And I know what you're thinking, compostable, how do you do that? I don't have a composter thing. Um, but apparently you can just put them, oh, you can just put them in your food bin, your food waste bin. So that's what I've been doing. Hopefully this is okay. One other thing I've also done is a subscription to oat milk as well. Again, not an ad. So I tried this Minor Figures one. I'm sure you can guess why, uh, because of the branding. And this hasn't actually had great reviews. I feel like I've heard bad things about minor figures rather than good things. And mostly that it's style over substance. The branding is great, but the milk is shit. It's the barista version, I think, is always better. So I decided to try the barista, barista, barista version, and it's also organic. And I really like it. It's creamy. It's delicious. I then decided to get a subscription to this, so I think it's £10 but with postage it's 13 a month and you get six cartons. And the reason I decided to do that was because every time I went to buy this, this one specifically, there was only either only one on the shelf or it was sold out. Um, they do a light version and another one, but this one was always sold out. So I thought, hell, I'm just gonna get a subscription and I don't have to worry about it. The amount of times I've pressed the button and I haven't pulled the thing down, so the pod's not even like activated. Cheers. Oh, lovely. Lovely. Another thing actually that has just come. A new GHD Helios. Now, I'll be transparent. I was originally hashtag gifted this a year ago, like last January. So I'd only had it a year and it just stopped working one day at the salon. It was the end of the day actually. And there was no signs pointing to it having breakdown. I just turned it on to like tidy up my section and it wouldn't turn on. And then I thought maybe it's overheated, left it a day, just wouldn't turn on. And it was still in warranty because the GHD warranty is two years. Um, so you just, this is just in case anyone has a GHD, it's just really worth doing. So you register it that you're gonna send it back, send it back and they send you a new one. And they did do, which was great, and that's come within a couple of weeks. And the reason I'm talking about it is because the Helios is expensive. However, as a hairdresser, professional hair dryers are expensive. And really, this is the only one I think that is really, really good. There was There's a brand called Parlux, which is like the, the kind of old school go-to hairdresser, one of the hairdresser go-to brands. Um, but I've got the Dyson. I used a diva one called Atmos, which is 
similar to one another hairdresser called the Gamma. I haven't used the Gamma so I can't speak on that but basically all these light hair dryers that are pushed as professional, I, for actual professional use, I don't think they're very good and so I come back to the GHD Helios in, like in particular over the air because this is lighter and I thought there's not much difference. I went back to using my old air and it feels so much heavier because I'm used to using this now. So for me, this is the go-to hair. Oh, I almost dropped that. <laughs> this is the go-to hair dryer. It gets hot enough and it's it dries hair quick enough. I just find like with the Dyson and like this Diva one I've got, they they take forever to dry hair. They don't get hot enough. Like for doing blow dries all day, not all day, but for blow, for doing blow dries and needing to use more clients, nothing works like the GHD Helios. So for home use, for you as a consumer, the Dyson and any other hair dryer is fine but I do really recommend this one. So I'm excited that that's come because now I have a proper hair dryer that actually works. Yeah, things that I've got to do now, I need to ring and sort out getting the basin. I feel like I've just had a real old brain dump and I've not really made much sense. So I might stop talking and just get just gather my thoughts together. One week later. Um, it's a glorious day, beautiful blue skies. Not sure if you can see that. I'm on my way to the, oh, hi there. I'm on my way to the salon space to sort some things out. I had the plumber come on Tuesday. Was it Tuesday? I don't know, we're on that Thursday, yes. A few unforeseen complications surrounding the water supply and basin installation, which I'll go into when I get there. It's fine, it's getting sorted, but everyone always has like things that you can't foresee would happen um, when starting these things. So I don't feel too bad, but it's like, it's caused a little bit of a delay, but it's fine. Um, anyway, I've got a sideboard to build, so I'm going to go and build that, and that will house all of my colour and product and stuff from where I'll mix colour. The mirror came, uh, we've already got the chair, so it's starting to take shape, which is really exciting. I just need Heather Wilkinson, because I need to get a dustpan and brush and some floor wipes, like floor cleaner. Oh, she's bought a coffee again, isn't she? Isn't she naughty? I'm, I'm honestly, I'm the worst. Right, okay, let's just get situated for a sec. And I can check, oh look, you can see the new addition. Um, we've got boxes everywhere. Piping, that's the plumber's pipe. Right, don't be rude. So, as you can see, there's the basin attached to the floor, ready to go. I don't know if I spoke to you about my basin, the basin debacle, basically every basin unit that you buy. So. When you have a salon, you can buy a unit that has a chair attached to it. I think they're all quite ugly. Also, they're very bulky. So because of obviously it's a, it's a modest size space, I wanted something that I could try and bespoke because my kind of mood board around the basin area had separate basins and separate chairs. So I could, the idea was if I get what this is called a pedestal basin, with no chair attached. I could get a chair that would fit the space a bit better than just a big bulky black leather chair. It wasn't an essential thing to do and it has made it more expensive, but I'm very particular about, I think especially because it is a small space, I don't have a lot of leeway with design. And so where I do have a little bit of control, I'm really keen to make it how I want it. So I was to spend money on a basin and I just thought it was ugly. I'd hate it every time I saw it. So anyway, that's just me. And as you can see, there's some piping there which isn't particularly attractive, but it's the way it's gonna be. But anyway, the chair will sit hopefully in front of that and cover it. This isn't a purpose-built salon space. I'm lucky to have a water supply, so I kind of just has to go with it. On the note of the basin, one of the complications we also had was that I didn't realize that the water supply was cold water only. Maybe that might have been obvious to some, but I think when I said to the building, can I have a water supply, they said yes. I, I kind of would have thought they would have said, oh, it'll only be cold, but they didn't, so I didn't even think of it. And the other day we moved in um, at the basin and the sideboard, which is there, the mirror, which I will go into more detail um, about shortly. But some of our friends have a van, um, one of our couple friends, have a van. They helped us, I say us, Hainsey and I, move all this stuff in a couple of days ago. And it was Richard, who is the husband of that couple, not Hainsey because, bless him, he's not the handiest of men. He pointed out, that looks like a cold water supply only. And I was like, ah, <laughs> ooh, 
that's gonna be an issue. So I then had to madly research what I needed to get, spoke to the plumber, and you could just get a water heater, but it's basically an extra expense and the kind of delay that I didn't anticipate. So far, it's the only extra expense and delay that's happened. So I'm grateful for that. And it's not a huge extra expense, it's just an expense I could have done without because I did actually spend extra on this basin than I originally budgeted. Anyway, we will talk about actually budgets and funding that I've mentioned, probably go into the next video. So anyway, short story long, plumber's coming. He did what he could when he was here on Tuesday and then he's coming back next Tuesday. I need to get the hot water heater and he will hook that all up and then we should be ready to go. So here's the mirror. Um, this mirror is similar to the white company one that you may have seen everywhere. Very similar, but it's about half the price. I found it on this website called William Woods Mirrors and it was 160 pounds. And I think, no, they had a 20% off thing. Um, so I think it's a bit more, but I got 20% off and free delivery. So altogether 160 pounds. And I feel like it's exactly the same. It's absolutely beautiful, exactly what I wanted. Really bloody heavy <laughs> because as I say, it got delivered last week. And I came down thinking, oh, I can just carry the mirror around. Absolutely not. It needed two men to carry this. Um, so yeah, really heavy. But if you have got your eye on the White Company one, this one is, honestly, I can't see a difference. It's rimless. And to me, it looks exactly the same on face value. Lovely and big. So there we go. That's my mirror. All very exciting. This is the sideboard, which I'm going to get to building. My necklace is all over the place. Anyway, I'm not procrastinating, but just before I get started on my sideboard, I just want to say how much I love this space already and I'm so happy. And just like standing here with the door open, the big bonus about this space is that I've got my own entrance. I mentioned before that that was a door through to another office and then you go through into the main building. Um, but I'm the only unit that has my own entrance. And I just think, standing here now, obviously it's not really warm, but with the sun out and blue skies and the door open and the music on, I just think I cannot wait to work. Like, the summer here is going to be incredible. I even suddenly thought, I've got this little space here. Excuse, that's the crate from when my chair was delivered. But this is, I'm not really sure what this is, but it kind of separates me out from the rest of this little parking area. So I just thought I can even get a little table and chairs. <laughs> I don't know that the building will agree for me to do that. I'll ask them. I'm so excited. I, I honestly, I can't believe this is happening. Right, um, we've done it. It's actually not as big as I thought it would be. I was tempted to get one that I would have come out more to about here, but that took 14 weeks, it said, delivery. And this was quick and I just was like, I need something. And also I don't want to get something too big in case it doesn't fit. So I'd rather start off small and go from there. But I think this could be perfect because I had been thinking I'd quite like to get like a mini fridge to go here so that I can serve like Prosecco and coffee with different types of milk because I think I'll get a coffee machine just to sit on here. And then I was gonna get a lamp as well. But this is really to store my color and to mix on top of. So this is what it looks like inside. There we go. So that would be perfect. I think it should work out well. This is, at, this is from Next, it's called the Bronx Sideboard and it's the small one. I was thinking maybe a floating shelf just there and definitely some floating shelves here. So then that will be a whole kind of area. Where the basin is, across this wall, I was considering getting some string shelving. Either one unit or if two would fit, to have it span the whole wall. And then I could have towels on there and also perhaps a small bit of retail um, and products that I use. I'm also TBC on this section here by the mirror, whether I might put something here, but I think that might be too much shelving because this is probably where my trolley will live. It can cover up the plug sockets and it will just slot in quite neatly there. Do I have anything else to say to you? I don't think I do. Actually, it says easy build. This was a very easy build. Really do highly recommend Next Furniture, actually. It was easier than Ikea. <coughs> God. Yeah, much easier than Ikea, so really quick. Excuse all the mess there, I still haven't really sorted out things for moving in, but we know this. And I've just realised, I'm at home alone. This never happens. So I'm really quite enjoying just eating some sushi that I picked up. I'm watching some YouTube. I went to Waterstones and got this book. 
was recommended to me because I've definitely felt even though I'm so excited to get started with this because it's been a bit like I feel like I've been waiting a long time for this to get going and I'm spending money and not making it back at the moment I'm working in my other salon but this isn't up and running at the moment so I just feel a bit on edge about everything and I've definitely had moments of imposter syndrome and thinking what am I doing? Why am I doing this? Is this going to work? Why would I think it would work? How can this work? All of all of the things that one might feel when taking a jump off a cliff. So I try not to dwell on those feelings. It's completely normal and I don't let them overwhelm me but I definitely do, those thoughts do creep in now and then. So I'm trying to listen to podcasts, read books, all that kind of stuff about this because yeah i think it's you know best foot forward and stuff and i need to get into that mindset of like running a business this vlog is probably quite long so i'm going to wrap it up here i know i mentioned talking about funding which i will do in the next vlog probably because i want to well actually i'd quite like if anyone's got any questions starting a business or anything at the moment then let me know and then i can answer them in the next video and then also talk about funding um but in brief I applied for a startup loan um, which is a government funded loan in the UK and it is specifically for startup businesses so if you are aware of that loan or you were considering it or anything like that that's how I funded this so just in brief but I will go through I'll talk about like the application process and stuff if that might be interesting to some of you but yeah if you've got any questions surrounding that pop them below and then I can answer them in the next video. Otherwise, let's wrap this up, get this uploaded and thank you so much for watching. My hair Instagram is this girl does hair, that's down below. I may start one for the studio as well, I'm not sure yet. If you were wanting to book in, then please contact me because I am taking bookings for March. Thank you so much for watching. I can't wait to be on here more and start this journey with you. And yeah, that's all I have to say. Okay, bye. Mwah.